Hey guys, uh, it's Dawn here and today I want to talk about um, teaching your horse how to pick you up. This is really, really useful and probably one of the big things that I would always, always teach a horse because um, it's just really, really handy and it incorporates a whole bunch of other stuff and it also uh, gives you a chance to see what their frame of mind is before you even ride. Um, I always do a pre-ride check where I'll just tell him to run around, so I'll check for lameness, soreness, stuff like that. Um, if he can run around and jump and stuff like that, then, you know, he's feeling good. I also see his frame of mind. I'll, you know, y um, yell out some commands or something and see how he responds to it. If he's like this about it and he's on top of it, then it's great. Um, if he's being sluggish or he's just flat out going, giving me attitude, you know, all of that comes out um, when I do these pre-ride checks and uh, having, having him pick me up is another pre-ride check. We've all seen those horses that <clears throat> you go to mount them, you line them up against the mounting board and, or, or the mounting block. <laughs> and then um, at, it's always, you know, you line them up and then you get on the mounting block and then you go to swing over and then they move at the very last minute or they move away or they refuse to even get near the mounting block. Um, if they are doing that, then they actually understand the whole concept of you mounting and they're just choosing to go against it and that really tells you what their frame of mind is so um, if they are able to figure out that whole concept on their own without you even actively doing it then it's really easy to actively try to teach them the concept that that you want and um, of course the the whole idea is that you want them to pick you up Lasser's gotten to the point now where um, if I get off him like um, at the last endurance race we had to go under this really low tree that had fallen over and it was literally too low for me to fit under on top of him so I had to get off and then he just barely you know I, I was thinking I have to take off my saddle as well for him to fit but he like somehow you know scrunched up his legs and scrunched under this thing um, and then he was like get on get on get on get back on me hurry hurry we gotta go we gotta go and it, it, it got kind of bad it got to a point where he was he acted like he was going to grab me by my breeches and throw me onto his back which was which is a horrible attitude. I was kind of pissed. I was like, don't talk to me like that, you know, <laughs> just calm down. But, um, and I didn't like his attitude at the time, but still, that is still a lot better than him going, peace, I'm taking off without you, you know. And so he knows that I need to be on his back and he wants me on his back. There's been times where I'm like, I'm going to give you a break. I'm going to get off. I'm going to run or jog. He literally gets fed up with me. And he's like, just, you suck. You suck at running. You suck at covering ground on your puny little human feet. Get back on my back. Let me do my job because I do it so much better than you. He's literally like that. And you might think I'm nuts, but talk to some other, other endurance riders. They've said the same thing. The horses know what their jobs are. They know that you need to be on their back. And if you, if you do this good and stuff, then... It, you know, it's, it, it's just a natural part of um, the relationship and the training that is actually quite crucial. Whenever, if I go to mount a horse and they don't want me to mount them, I won't, I won't mount. I will back up and take all these steps back because that is a huge red flag right there. Right from the beginning, the horse is saying, don't get on me. And then you get on them anyway, and then you're going to be surprised if later on they do something else to try and get you off of them. So you don't want that. You want the horse that wants you to get on his back. Um, <laughs> so anyways, this is what it should look like kind of he's eating right now he doesn't even know i'm out here doing this so we'll see how this goes but um uh i'll show you what it looks like and then i'll show you the steps um actually let me just go through the steps right now in order to teach this your horse is going to need to know to come on call to heal heal means to come to your side to line up to your side follow you 
and uh, you know they need that concept that they need to be healing he like heal like a dog heal okay so he come heal and then to side pass uh, sidestep skiddle skedaddle over skedaddle over this side and um, it'd be helpful if they knew how to move their <clears throat> hind end and their front end um, individually so you can tell them no 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 I, I need your front to come over I need your butt to come over and stuff like that and then the concept of I'm gonna mount you and you want me to mount you you want me to be on your back and uh, and then we can go all right so those are the steps to training this and this is what uh, it should look like yes, sir. Oh. 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 Back. 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 Over. Oh. Oh. Forward. Forward. So there you go. Hopefully that shows you um, a few little things that you can work on uh, that can really help um, when you're out riding. Uh, let's see. Let's go, say have Lister say bye bye. There, good boy. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Thanks guys, bye.